Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out the new Garmin S42 GPS watch. Now this is one of the most popular golf GPS watches around. It has a ton of cool features and it even has touchscreen and it's in color. Now the Garmin S42 is an upgrade to the Garmin S12, which we recently reviewed here on the show. And the Garmin S12 is one of my favorite budget golf GPS watches. So today I'm gonna to be going over all the features and settings and show you what you need to know before you take it out on the course. So let's get to what we have here is the watch. It also comes with cables for charging, two direction booklets. Okay, so now once we get the watch, first thing I'm gonna do is turn it on, is you're gonna hold this one button. This is the power button, or it's also known as the action button. So the first thing it's gonna ask you is the language. So it'll be English, because I'm in the United States. And then you're gonna either pick yards or meters. I'll pick yards. And then it's gonna ask you the time format. Now, I'm gonna do it in 12 hours, because that's what I like. Last, it's gonna ask you what gender you are. A male, and then it says auto set the time data with a GPS. So in order to do this, you have to connect the satellites. So I'm set okay. So it takes a couple minutes for the watch to connect the satellites for the first time, so we can set its time. So then once you've done that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the power button again, and it's gonna start asking you a bunch of questions. Now I wanna go over some of the features of the watch itself before we go into how to pair it and, and how to use it while playing golf. Now if we cl click the one button, the action button, it takes you to this screen. If you tap play golf, it'll automatically start your round of golf. Now, you don't have to do that right away. Let's say you're just using it out and about. What you can do is you can push the screen right here where the four colors are, and it gives you more um, options. So the first is you can do activity, a stopwatch, a timer, an alarm clock, and then true swing, which is kind of cool. So you have a bunch of extra features outside of just being for golf. If you click the action button again, it'll take you back to the screen of just the watch. Now let's pretend you want to change the watch face. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down the action button and it's gonna take you to the settings menu. Now once inside settings, you can look at the golf settings itself. Now these are kind of the questions gonna be asking us when we play golf. So we'll kind of skip that for a moment. Now to back out, you hit the action button again. Now you have different modes. You can do do not disturb. Um, I have that turned off as of right now. Now you can lock the screen. You can also watch face. Now if you click watch face, what happens is it shows you the watch face itself. So in order to swap out the watch faces, all you have to do is swipe up and down. And you can choose what kind of watch face you want to have on the watch. Now that's a really cool new feature that the S12, the predecessor to this watch, didn't have. So I'm gonna go with this one and I'll hit the action button again, hit okay, and now I've changed the watch face. Now if we click the gear icon, it's gonna give us a couple more options here. One is auto lock, which is I have turned off. Now this is next is backlight. The backlight is the way it brightens up the screen. That's turned on as of right now. If you want to turn it off, you just have to tap the screen. Activity tracking, we'll get into that in a moment. That's a step counter on the watch. Uh, manage widgets, if you click this, you can turn them on and off so you can see the weather, the sunrise, sunset, calendar, golf, steps. It's all the widgets you see when you're playing golf. And to back out of the screen again, you just hit the action button. And then a user profile, which would be your profile that's connected to your Garmin app. The language, time, and units, we've already taken care of that initially, and that's how you can also reset the watch by clicking reset. So when you're ready to play golf, what you're gonna do is you hit the action button again, and the play golf button pops up again. Click the play golf, and it's gonna go ahead and try to locate satellites. When you're at the golf course, it's gonna take about probably anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds for it to locate the satellites and pinpoint exactly where you're at. But since we're indoors, I'm gonna skip. Now. Here is saying what course we're at. We're gonna say we're at Ken McDonald, which is a course down the street that I like to play at a lot. And then if we were at Ken McDonald, the first thing it's gonna ask you is if you wanna keep score. What you do is you click the check mark button and say yes. And then now it's gonna ask you what T you wanna use. Here, I usually hit middle because that's what I play. And now we're into the main screen. So what's really great about the Garmin S42 is that not only is it a color screen, but it's a touch screen. Something that its predecessor, the S12, didn't have. So right now the watch thinks that we're at Ken McDonald on the first hole. So as you can see, it says hole number one, power four. Now the three numbers you see here is the back, middle, and front of the green. So 364 is the middle of the green. Now a cool new feature with the S42 is if you tap the watch and where it says the green, you can actually use your finger and put where you want the flag to be. Now this is a huge upgrade from the S12 because the S12, you had to cycle through each one manually and it took about, I don't know, five or 10 seconds to find the exact pin position. So this is a really cool new feature with the S42. Now if we're on hole number one, if you wanna see more information about the course itself, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the down button 
and it's gonna show you a course overview. So this is the first hole. So right now it's showing that we have a bunker at 339 yards out and to the front. Now if you wanna see more hazards, what you do is you can tap the down button. It's telling us where we should lay up. So 265 to lay up and we're safe. So now once you're done with the screen, all you have to do is hit the action button again and it takes you right back to where you're at before. So while playing golf, the action button is the main button. One reason why I liked it, having only one action button other than the S12 that had four buttons, it makes it so much easier to use. So if we're playing, you hit the action button, you have a lot more other features you can use. First, you can change the hole to whatever hole you're on. And to back out, you hit the action button again. You can look at your scorecard. You can look at your round info. You can look at your last shot. You can look at your location. And what I think is a really cool feature is the sunrise and sunset. So what you do is you tap sunrise and sunset, and it's gonna show you what the sunrise and sunset is for the day and when twilight's gonna happen. So it's kinda cool to figure out like how much more time you actually have to play golf. And then once again, once you're done with looking at the information, hit the action button, and it'll take you back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and end this round to show you guys something new. So what we do is end the round. See, end. It's gonna end the round for us. And here is like a normal watch face. One thing I really like about the S42 is that it actually does act like a real watch. Now the S12 looked like a real watch, but it wasn't as functional as the S42. You could wear this as a daily watch if you really wanted to. So if you want to see some of the information on the watch, all you have to do is swipe up. So again, you'll see so the sunrise and sunset, your last scorecard you saved, how many steps you took, which is a whole new feature that the S12 didn't have. So if you're into fitness, it's a good way of keeping track of how many steps you have at the golf course, especially if you're walking. And then back to the main screen. So now that we kind of have an overview of how the watch works itself and how to use it at the golf course, let's go ahead and pair it to the Garmin Connect app. So one really cool feature about the Garmin products is the Garmin Golf app. Now the Garmin Golf app is available both on Android and iOS. And what you can do is you can pair your Garmin devices to the app. Now once you have that done, all of your information is now stored on the app including what you've used on your S12 or maybe what you use on the S42, even what you've done on the, on the Garmin R10. So it's really cool because you can have all your information all one place for all your Garmin devices. And it's a really cool app to use. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to download the app and how to pair up your phone so you can use it going forward. To get the app, it's really super easy. All you have to do is go to the App Store, type in Garmin Golf, hit search, and it's gonna be this one of the green golf ball. You're gonna tap that, and then you're gonna download the app. Now, I already have it on my device, so I'm gonna hit open. Now, in order to set up the Garmin app, you have to use a username and password. Just use your uh, email address and make up a password, save it, and it takes about maybe a minute, and your account's all set up. So, here's the app itself. Now, in order to pair the S42 to the app, what you're gonna do is you hit click the More button, and then you hit Garmin Devices. And as you can see right now, I have an S12 and a Garmin R10 already saved in my system. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add device. Now I really love this screen because look how crisp and clear it looks and you know exactly what product you have. Instead of just a bunch of list of names. So I think this is like really cool. That's kind of a little extra that Garmin does. So here's our watch, which is the S42. And then we're gonna click start. Now we're gonna take the watch and we're gonna hit the action button. We're gonna hold on the action button. And then we're gonna see that button that says pair phone. We're gonna tap pair phone. And now, right now it's trying, now it says, would you like to connect it? I said connect it. Now it's giving us a code. So we put the code in the phone, you hit pair. And now the phone and the iPad are connecting to each other. So you can use the Garmin Connect app. So yeah, it takes about a minute for it to connect. And then once it connects, you can hit next. And I only want myself, and I want to share my scorecard, not now. You hit next, sync your devices. I haven't played golf on this yet, so really not a lot to sync. Maybe I'll save the face settings, stuff like that. And we hit finish. And now we're connected to the Garmin Golf app. So one thing I really love about the Garmin S42 is the way it sits on your wrist. Now, as you guys can see, it fits very nicely. The bezel is nice and clean. It's a lot of, I have a lot of movement still, which is not really in the way. And also Garmin allows you to switch out the bands if you want, you can buy their bands. This is a white one, so I doubt I would do it with this one, but with the black, definitely. The screen is super bright, and you also can change the setting of the screen if, in case you think it's too bright or not bright enough. You can change the settings on the screen, um, both on brightness as well as how long it takes before it kind of goes to dim mode. Now this allows us so the battery won't go out as fast, so it's kind of cool. 
To be honest, you guys, I am really impressed with the Garmin S42 GPS watch. And I would highly recommend it to any golfer out there looking for an affordable golf watch with a ton of cool features. It truly blows my mind what this little unit can do. Now I got mine from our good friends at playbetter.com. They're huge supporters of the show and there's links down below so you can check this out. But if you wanna see how the Garmin S42 performed when we went out and play tested it out of the golf course, then check this video right here and we show you everything you need to know. And I'll see you in the next video.